Hi guys, welcome to HTML tutorials. This is Anil once again back in this tutorial. Today I am going to teach you about the lists in HTML and there are various lists available in HTML that today we are going to discuss. And if you go with our deck, what are lists in HTML? A lists are the basic way of presenting the items or points in the form of bullets or numbering system, lettering system in some progression or the sequenced fashion. Basically lists are of three types. First one is unordered list, second one is ordered list, third one is definition or description list. If you go to the details of each and every list, unordered list is nothing but it is a list in it it can be presented in the form of bullets. I mean each and every point can be presented in the form of bullets or any graphics. But in HTML we can present the unordered list in the form of disk or square or circle. These three types of uh, graphics we can produce in HTML. And coming to the order list, order list is a way of presenting the items or present in the form of numbering system, lettering system, or Roman number fashion system, or in any other sequenced fashion. And coming to the third and the last one definition or description list. Definition list organize terms and their definitions in pairs like we give some heading and if you give the description of that heading is nothing but a definition list. The combination of all those pairs is nothing but a definition or description list. If you go to the in depth of the output of these lists, this would be the best example for that if I show you this, this is what the best example. See this is the example of order list putting some bullet points or some disk points or some circle points in front of the text and presenting it in a form of a bulleting points is called an order list and if you come to the second list type that is order list presenting the text in the form of numbering system like one two three or we can we, we have an option to facilitate the ordering number also instead of giving one as the first point we can change that point to three four five or seven eight nine we can alter the start point of the order list we have a facility in html by using attribute start and the third list is definition or description list this is what here t if you clearly observe this one t t is nothing but data definition and this is data description milk definition term definition description definition term definition description definition term definition description the combination of all these dd and dd is called a definition list d definition list tag is nothing but a dl and this is nothing but a definition term dt and this is dd if we go to in depth of the code point of view of this all these codes as per this class today we will be discussing only order list and in the next 9th and 10th classes we will be discussing order list and definition list today we are going to discuss about an order list and what are the various types of an order list and how many ways we can render the an order list in html all these topics we will be covering today so as of now i am closing this order list and an order list. See, this is what an an order list looks like in HTML. This is what simple an order list. How we can generate this an order list? We will go to the code point of view first, and later we'll come to the various types of an order list. This is what a simple HTML structure. HTML open, HTML open, body open, and you forget about this one. And body close. HTML close. Now this is what we need to concentrate. 
this is what an h2 tag header tag this is you all are familiar with this h2 tag to give a side heading we use h2 tags or h1 or h4 s3 depending upon the requirement and this is what hr tag gives an horizontal row below of that heading and everything apart from these five lines of code four lines of code sorry everything is fine and which is very similar to you which is very familiar and very simple and coming to this point of code here to generate an to generate to generate a an order list first we need to collect the points what points we are going to render in an order list format so uh, in this case i have a requirement that milk tea and coffee these three points i should be uh, generated in in the order list format so these milk tea coffee are called as list indexes means li so what i will do is we will write just will as of now i will close this one and i will write a code ul open close use and space new li list index what are the indexes what we on we want to put in an order list that we need to mention here milk li close hit enter you another li milk and go to the output what we want t next t list to close next next to coffee and finally close the ul this is what a simple code that we can write and save this one and this is what a notepad plus plus uh, editor i am using this is very simple launch in firefox see this is what milk tea coffee milk tea coffee milk tea coffee milk tea coffee we are able to see two times because here already there, there is a two types of two times we have given the code so that's the problem that it's showing two times if i remove this one the first one and if you save this one this is what a save option come to the mozilla firefox and save it this is what we can render an order list in the browser so this is what simple simple trick that we done we are done with the rendering of an order list and now how to generate different types of an order list in html this is what the default type we have not specified any type here to the an order list to render on the page but we have three types of an order list in html that we can generate See if we go to the code point of view, and if we give type attribute equals to circle, and save this one, refresh it. See the bulleting points has been changed from disk to circle type. and if in place of circle if we give square see the bulleting points again change to a square type so what we'll do we'll put all the three types of code in one page and we'll see what will be the output of that Here, what I will do is I will give this as a disk. This I will change from square to circle. And I will refresh this page once again. See, first one is disk type, second one is circle, and third one is milk. A uh, third one is square type. Sorry. If we remove this type and if we leave it as 
default then also it will show as disk only see this is what disk type means an unordered list can be displayed in a disk format by default until and unless we specify externally giving the type of the unordered list if we give type is called circle then the disk type will be changed to circle and uh, and also if we give the square type it will change to square type by default it is disk it is not uh, externally there is no need of specifying the type equal disk if you want to uh, render the output in the form of disk type these are the three possible ways that we can render an unordered list in html and the next concept that is how to nest the unordered list i mean nesting of unordered list is nothing but inserting an unordered list in within the unordered list that we will see how to nest an unordered list within the unordered list see this is what the code actually see to to see this one is very simple uh, if we remove this one i will open in another one for now i will remove all this one So this was simple an order list format i'm giving slash li here now this was a simple one i'm saying this one is on the desktop and i will run or run in firefox save and here this i have to take the html extension where is html extension or directly you can try this as i put this this is what html extension save this one now run this one in firefox this is what a simple an order list now what we'll do is we will do some coding here to insert another an order list within an within an order list that we need to specify within li means hit enter beside of milk now here within this li i just want to categorize milk into two types of milk that is in this way milk categorized into cow milk buffalo milk so what we'll do is here we will give ul close hit enter again close ul within this what we'll do is we will give an li and what we are going to tell is milk can be categorized into this is the way milk cow milk buffalo milk here milk it is categorizing into cow milk close li buffalo milk this is the way we can give now you can close this one you can delete this one and this is what you need to give ul done now save this one and see in output and refresh the page see milk has been categorized into cow milk and buffalo milk and further if you want to categorize in the same way t so hit enter beside of t 
and just copy this one control C and paste this one T output should be in this format so a green tea regular tea Save this one and switch to the browser and see the output. Green tea regular tea. And next one is cold coffee regular coffee. Hit enter. Here, write cold coffee. Coffee. Save this one, refresh this one. Cold coffee, hot coffee. See, and uh, I just want to subcategorize again this cold coffee into cold coffee one, cold coffee two, and regular coffee as regular coffee one and regular coffee two. So, what we'll do is here press one more time, enter beside of cold coffee, just copy this one, UL and paste it what we'll do is we'll give, we'll give some alignment like, like this one now here copy this cold coffee paste here give it as one give it as two in a similar fashion Copy this one and hit hot coffee. Here, what we'll do is instead of this cold, we'll write hot. Save this one, refresh it on the browser. See, cold coffee has been changed to cold coffee one, cold coffee two. And if you if we keenly observe this one, the bulleting points will be in an order that the first parent bullet point will be in disk type and the second will be in circle type and the third hierarchy will be in a square type this will be given by default by the html and if you want to specify if you want to change the type of the bullet that we can also change by using the type attribute this is what the lists can be rendered in HTML. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and keep comments and if you have any doubts please comment. Thanks for watching this video. Bye bye.